My name is Ozan Chigos from Food Soldiers Farm. Today we are going to be doing on maggot production. Join me as we explore the production processes. Thank you. Wow! We have plenty maggot harvest today. How did we even achieve this? Wow! You want to see what these maggots are used for? Then follow me. Let's go. This the this the pen, maggot pen. These are the media. This is my collection sites, and this is the results. Okay, let's listen. If these chickens will appreciate. Hello, buddies. Hello. I brought some. I actually enjoy watching this. You see? So when the maggots leave the collection bath by themselves, the little deaths that I did not like I did not, that I missed will remain in the bath. So there's no way uh, the chickens will eat deaths or maybe maggots maggots or droppings. They are actually enjoying this. Wow. This is a nice meal. <laughs> this is a nice delic delicacy. Notice that they abandoned their normal feed. And they prefer they prefer the natural one. So Margot production is good. <laughs> they are not lifting the bar for <laughs> it has gotten to a point where they have to lift the bar up and oh god they can't help this they actually enjoying this I, I think I should I should assist them a little wow this one is good this one. The bath, the bath is now empty. <laughs> this, this is the best source of protein for broilers. of maggots one is from black soldier fly and the other one is from house fly i'll be dealing solely on the maggots from house fly one of the challenges we face in producing maggots from house fly is one the attractants to the media where you culture the maggots three keeping them away from pests and other things that love maggots too and four is harvesting okay so harvesting is a very technical process which I found the way that works for me. And one thing about maggots is that maggots from house flies so it has to be given to livestock immediately after harvesting. Any process that you try to use in preserving these maggots will reduce the protein quality. Okay, so one major challenge is, is harvesting them from the attractants and I found the method that works for me which I will call photosensitive method because I am trying it for the first time and I've not seen anyone try such method before so join me as we explore the practical aspect thank you this is my maggot pen okay that's a black soldier fly I hope you can see so this is my maggot pen let's see wow this these are black soldier fly lava so here these are black soldier lava so here what did you notice you see that this one produced more maggots it produces more maggots 
than this. This one is kitchen waste. This one is soya bean meal byproduct. Okay, this is soya bean chaff. Okay, it produces more maggots than kitchen waste. Okay, so I expect this place to be filled up maybe in one week time so that I will harvest and harvesting this thing is going to be a challenge but let's see how it goes I hope you can see completely maggots completely maggots completely maggots if I should uh, bottom of the bucket is perforated so that is why I don't allow it to rest on the bees so that the maggots can actually move out and then I'll harvest from this uh, material thank you I noticed that these maggots like to stay away from light. They they prefer darkness. So I used that method to harvest them. So when I break out the attractant that contains the maggots in the room, I make one side of the room that dark where the other end is the source of light. So when I do that, these maggots will tend to move away from the source of light. So by doing that, they take themselves away from the media which is dead that the livestock don't need okay so they move themselves out solving the problem of separation so what the farmer have to do is just to stay at the other end of the room which is dark to collect the maggots which whatever equipment that works for you thank you all right this is what i use as my as my maggot pen this is where they are cultured you see it's dark very dark because maggots are photosensitive so this is the the media these are poultry waste and some of the intestine from processed chicken you see there are there are maggots inside so what i do is when i bring this out from the media i empty the collection tank on the ground and when i empty them on the ground i face them towards the light when you face them towards the light the maggots are going to leave the dirty media and then they come out in it look at them so as it is now, now we use broom and packer to collect them. When I collect them, I then take them to the chickens. I hope you can see. You see, they are migrating. They are moving away from the lights. They are moving away from light. So, so this is how I collect my maggots. Alright, now I have enough of them. I hope you can see. Now, this is a very good source of protein for, for broilers, for all livestock, mostly fish and broilers. One may ask, why do we even bother ourselves in producing maggots? I have three reasons to give you. One is that it reduces the cost of production. It increases the feed quality and it helps us maintain the organic standards in farm practices. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. Don't forget to click the like button and follow us on YouTube. I remain my humble self, Ozago Chibose Steven.
Thank you.